Okay, number seven, be careful with the setup. Here we are going to have a box, like again, right? And the box will have an open top. And it says that this is going to be constructed from a square piece of cardboard, six feet wide. And we are going to cut off a square from each of the four corners and then bend up the sides. And we are going to find the largest possible volume. So what exactly is going on? Well, let me give you guys a picture. This is what we know. First, we start with a square cardboard. So a picture like this. And uh, we know that it's six feet wide. And then we are going to cut off a square from each corner. So like this, like this, like this, like that. But how much are we going to cut off? We don't know, right? So here, let's label that as x. Likewise, this will be x. Here, this will be x. This will be x. And this will be x. And this will also be x. And then if you look at the inside here, we are going to bend up each of the four sides right here. And then the blue square in the dashed line uh, will be the base of the box. So what's happening is like this. We have the base right here and like this. This is a 3D picture. And the X will be the height of the box. So it will be like this, like this, and like that. All right. And then, of course, we can finish this picture. Now, we will have to figure out an expression. For the blue part, have a look. Originally, the whole thing here is 6, but we cut off x here and also x here. So the blue part is actually just 6 minus 2x, right? 6 minus 2x. So that will be here. Likewise, this side here will also be 6 minus 2x, and that will be the other side here, 6 minus 2x. And the red part is x. And that's the height of the box. Good. And in fact, we don't really have an equation, right? Because technically, we only have like the given square piece of cardboard. That's all. All right. Now, let's see what do we want to know then. Well, we want to have the biggest possible box. So we want the maximum. And we want the volume of this box. And notice that everything's in terms of x already. So this is great. We want the maximum and volume of x is just x times this times that, which is 6 minus 2x and then square. OK, we can actually do some algebra first. Let's multiply this out. So that will be x at the front. And then we have 6 squared, which is 36 minus. Don't forget to do the middle term, which is 2 times this and that. 2 times 6 is 12 times negative 2x. We have a total of negative 24x in the middle. And lastly, we do 2x squared, and that will be a plus here, so 4x squared. And then distribute the x, so we get 36x minus 24x squared plus 4x to the third power. Now we take the derivative. 36 minus 48x plus 12x squared. And now we are going to set this to be equal to 0. And to solve this, here we have a quadratic equation. Let's factor out 12 first. And let me write down this term first. We have x squared. And then factoring out 12, we get minus 4x in the middle. And then um, factoring out 12 on 36, we get plus 3 left. And we can factor it. We get x minus 1 times x minus 3, and that's equal to 0. So now, from here we know x has to be 1. From here we know x has to be equal to 3. So we have these two critical numbers, 1 and 3. Which one's the answer? Be careful. 3 is not, because we are cutting off 3 feet from each side. In that case, then we don't get a box, right? So 0 volume. But I will still verify for you guys. Let's say right here. Uh, let's do the first derivative test. We know that the derivative at 1 is equal to 0. Let's do phi prime when x is 1. Pick a number slightly less than 1. Let's say 0 0.5. Plugging, we get 
positive because we get negative times negative. So positive. And then pick a number bigger than 1, let's say 1.2 or something. You will get negative because 1.2 minus 3 is negative and times the other factor is positive. So altogether it's negative. So right here, I will say the first derivative changes from positive to negative at x equals 1. So there is a maximum. That being said, we are going to find the biggest box. That means I will just have to compute v of 1. And our volume equation is right here. So let's just go ahead and put a 1 in there. So we get 1 times 6 minus 2 times 1 and then squared. Work that out, we will get 4 squared, which is 16. So I will just answer it right here like this. The biggest possible volume is 16 feet cube, and that's it.